Okay, so this video is literally like all over the place. I've had SD card issues, camera issues, battery issues, uh, and, and more recently I've had computer issues and finally got everything figured and straightened out. I'm, I'm going to make this video. It makes no sense. But I also think it's very important to, to show this stuff because um, I know a lot of you guys are really keeping up with this build. So, so I put together the best way that I could. If something doesn't make sense or you don't understand it, it's fine. Go ahead and ask questions in the comment section. But we're also going to do a full walkthrough uh, of this boat in a separate video. But with all that being said, uh, this video is brought to you by Drag Fishing Company. Uh, it is a company that myself and my buddies started you will see like the the shirts all throughout the video um we have a couple different designs we have lures we have uh, uh bait soft and hard baits performance like the nice like fishing shirts like for summertime and everything keep you out of the sun but also keep you cool uh the website does work uh it's just a little bit slow so um if you so if you guys are interested in, uh, in anything you see on, on these videos, make sure to go check it out on the website. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description. It's dragfishingco.com. I have some more videos coming out. I'm going to do one uh, basically about where I've been for the past like two years. Uh, I come back and I have long hair and beard and you guys are like, what the heck happened to the, the fire ant? And I'm also going to do like, I'm going to hit the, the hunting stuff pretty hard this year. I know a lot of you guys aren't into that. But for the people that are, because I know a lot of us, it overlaps. Like you're fishing during the summer, you're hunting in the winter. It's time to start getting ready for hunting season. So uh, going down to the hunting club, get, getting food plots ready is something that I would like to show you guys. Uh, you know, kind of the, my little hunting spots that I got. We'll go ahead and show you guys everything I can. Um, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. If you do, please leave a like. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to check out Tiny Boat Nation. On Facebook hey guys what's going on welcome back to fire ant fishing this is probably gonna be a really weird video I don't know what's going on with my big camera something with the battery is not working it's not holding a charge so we're on the GoPro I wasn't able to show the entire process of us mounting the trolling motor mount uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys whatever clips that I can I know that at the end of the last video we said we were gonna do uh, electrical However, we're gonna go ahead and start and try to figure out how to mount this front trolling motor. So basically we're gonna make some type of like box for the trolling motor base to sit on. And once we get that figured out, then we can figure out where to run the wires and then start with all the electrical. All right, this might not be the best way to do this, but this is how we're gonna do it. I'm gonna hold this piece up and act like it's the top of this motor mount. I'm going to put this on here to make sure it's level. Up. Right there. Up a little bit more. Alright. And then we're going to trace it onto this 2x4. Boom. And now we're going to cut, so put like a uh, deck down there so we know that works too <laughs> we're gonna cut this top piece off and then we should have a level spot to start uh, making the box for this trolling motor mount all right so kind of change the plan a little bit we're gonna use just these two and we're not gonna put anything on top Basically what we're going to do is we're going to mount these two pieces straight to the deck and then the base of the trolling motor to the tops of these wood. So to be honest, what we just measured doesn't matter. That's where those holes are going to hit. We, to put well, this to here, but we, yeah, we, we can put these where, we just can't put the holes right there. Exactly. Yeah. The counter, the... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So now we're going to countersink some holes, lock these down in place, and then we'll attach the trolling motor.
Christmas this year. The stick with the hair. Especially with bare hair. Yeah. Pretty much yeah. awesome. Yeah. It's pretty much awesome. Everyone's probably wondering what this sound is on the load with me in the boat. You said they build a boat, dude. You said I should do it. It's dying. So it's dying. So now that that's done, we're going to mount the fish finder and the Bigfoot right here. Well, this one's the cheap one called the Surefoot. I had originally bought this for my 16 footer, but we didn't end up using it for it. So we're going to go ahead and put it on this boat. But we're going to go ahead and figure out where we want to place these things on the front of the deck. And then we're going to run all the wires. We've got a whole bunch of cable here that we've been saving uh, that we got from various places. Didn't pay for any of it. The only thing we did buy was we got to find the receipt for that. So shout out to the dude at the auto parts store that was uh, in Tiny Boat Nation. He recognized us. Phil. Phil's his name. <laughs> Phil, thank you. But we bought a uh, 399 ring, basically the terminals that go to the battery. And we also went to Ace and purchased uh, $4.96 worth of stuff. It was the clamp and the connector butt. So basically, because we want to mount the transducer on the bottom of the trolling motor, we bought a, uh, a big clamp. Where is it's it at? Like a yeah, we bought this clamp from Ace uh, to mount that to the uh, actual trolling motor. And here are the clamps we bought from the auto parts store and then from Ace. But, you know, just uh, ring connectors and some butt splices to make this all one unit. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started and figure out where we want to place everything. And uh, we'll go from there. All right, so just to go over everything, the uh, depth finder we're using is the Helix 5G2. This is one Patrick was gifted. It's got the chirp and the GPS, so it's not like the super high-end model, but it's still going to be perfect for this boat. Like, the size and everything, if you're looking for a good one for like a 14-foot John boat, this probably isn't a bad way to go. I mean, it's a good size. And it's still like not in that super expensive range. I want to say it was around like the 250 to 270 mark. So uh, I mean, it's it's a little bit more. It's not definitely not super budget, but um, definitely better than your lower end ones. So get yourself a good girlfriend. She'll buy you one. Thanks, Chelsea. <laughs> All right. So Patrick decided where he wanted everything. Basically, we're gonna put the hot foot switch right here. And our theory behind that. It's just kind of like you're, you're less likely to step over here knowing the motor's here than you are if we put it over on the right side. So we're going to put it close to the pedal right there. And then we're going to put the uh, Hummingbird up front, up close. And then for the wires, if we need to, we're just going to kind of hide them around the side right here and be able to run everything all the way to the back because both of his motors are going to go in the back of this boat. Both of the batteries. Oh wow, because both of his batteries are going to go in the back of the boat. Right now, we kind of see, remember how we left those gaps inside the foot pedal for the water to go through? We're also going to use them to run the trolling motor wires into, um, just to clean everything up and keep everything hidden. So, that's going to be real nice, and we, we have enough space in there. If we need to run any other wires, we're, we're talking like maybe we have to run this one down through there as well. But uh, we'll see how all that goes. I mean, that's up to you. Just remember, you, you can move it up and down, and you just won't be able to move it like that. Just like that. Mm -hmm. right there. All 
All right, so we have all the wires running, like hidden right now. We have the the Bigfoot wires running down into the foot control area. We got the wires for the trolling motor. And then for the depth finder, we took the wire, kind of wrapped it around the base down here, and you can see it down on the side, and then fed it down underneath the deck. Yep, thanks bud. So now we have all the wires coming out here. We got the big foot switch wires, trolling motor, and depth finder all down into the bottom. Dude, it's Todd a fish finder, not the depth finder. It's Todd the fish finder. It's Todd the fish finder. Do you not know that? Yo, it's still recording too. What's it called? The fish finder. You're saying the death finder. Oh, I'm sorry, man. You're saying the fish finder. Duh. Dorito. Dorito. <laughs> this is fire ant fishing. We're gonna catch some big bass. You're cold. Oh, you're literally, you're, you're, you're really inside. cold right now. It is 70 something degrees. Well, she ha we have to take her to a doctor about this. <laughs> she has to be sarcastic. I'm uh -huh. taking her to a hospital. I'm <laughs> calling 911 to make sure the ambulance comes. She goes to a hospital as soon as you don't want her. It's hot. I'm going to be sweating. I'm sweating here. too, dude. I, I'm bad at sweat. It's <laughs> so hot. I can't do a sign. Oh crap. What? It's too big. Are you serious? Yeah. <sighs> it doesn't get small enough? What do you mean? Oh, the, the thing's in. Dang it. Well, that sucks. Yeah. So we need like oh, my the, next, the can't smallest. Work this gets us four and a half. My adventures can't work so we need one that's like two that and a half to, to four. four. No, no, now my adventures yeah. can't work. Hello. Next, next video of the ant fishing. We're gonna finish it. We're gonna do some fishing. We're gonna touch a big bass, and then on set is round. We're gonna show you the bass we caught. Bye.